Hey, very nice to meet you. I'm representing uh, the City is Ours. It's uh, an organization from Warsaw. Uh, it's an urban movement, actually. And um, we exist since, let me count, uh, nine years or eight years already? No, nine. And I'm uh, a member of our um, organization since eight, eight years, so it's a long, long time for me. Um, we are a rather big uh, organization. We are 200 people. Uh, or even more, but we are based on volunteering work. We hire on one person, which is the president of the organization. Uh, so what we do is practically uh, reflecting the number of members we have, because we have very wide uh, objects of interest. Uh, and um, uh, first of all, is the, uh, we work only in Warsaw, so we uh, work on urban development of Warsaw. And two main um, pillars of our agenda are transport and environment. But it's not only that, because we are also highly involved uh, with participation and social participation and transparency in, uh, in a local Warsaw level. And despite of what has been have been said already, that Warsaw and big cities are right now uh, in hands of opposition, and we have mayor represents the opposite party to the law and justice, we are showing that it's not very good with democracy on this local Warsaw level anyway. So in some cases, the ruling party like PIS and PO are very similar. And basically, this is on this municipal, local level, when it's not very good with all the transparency and participatory um, um, regulations anyway. So what may be interesting in, for you, I may, I may uh, speak about one project, unfortunately we don't have a website uh, in uh, English, but uh, two, two years ago we um, tried to uh, find out how many local councillors and how many local politicians are hired also in the municipal companies who are both working as local councillors and earn money as people who are elected and then I hired in boards or committees uh, of their municipal companies and they earn money uh, because of their political connections. And we published a list of local consumers who earn all, um, quite a lot of money also by do, uh, because they hired themselves in the municipal companies. So for example, we did this. Um, what else? Um, so basically we are in opposition to the um, political opposition, we also run in local elections and we have three local councillors in, in the district basic level. So we do not really collaborate with the city of Warsaw because we are an opposition, but, and this is uh, the second point I would like to make, we started to collaborate um, when the war started in Ukraine. And um, for us, I think it was, uh, it, influences us uh, more than pandemics, because even before the pandemics, we did a lot of things online. Our work was based on online projects, on websites, showing the connections, creating the maps, gathering the data. And only after the breakout of uh, the war, we, we decided that we have to do something. And uh, the first time we got uh, support from the city and we got funding from the city was to open the uh, common room, the place for refugees in our um, office. So right now it's also open on a nearly daily basis or each weekend we organize the events for refugees. And also right now we are organizing the um, courses and uh, for, for children and also for adults. So right now we, and also when the war began, we were uh, an uh, organization who uh, supported um, the railway stations because the refugees were arriving to the railway stations and we were operating with you know, one railway station to organize it. So that's how we, we collaborate, I may say. Um, and okay, okay uh, I just gave an example of one project, but we do plenty of them. So if you would like to ask or get to know more, feel free to ask me. And for now, I will. And, oh, maybe I will add one more thing, I'm sorry. That, uh, I'm an academic as well, and I work at the University of Warsaw. Uh, also, I'm urban sociologist, so 
Uh, I did several project, projects on local um, collaboration of uh, NGOs with uh, local governments from this academic perspective as well.